Meet Tom Greer. Uh, he grew up in a different time, I guess. <laughs> Um, he's old school. <laughs> At any rate, uh, you can see the headline here, Shot Woman Robbing Home. And I'm not supposed to laugh at this. I mean, it's supposed to be a serious incident. I mean, a, a woman, a pregnant woman uh, died, but uh, the jokes for this would rather write themselves. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. The words of the 80-year-old homeowner who confronted two robbers. I walked in on them, and they downed me. They jumped on me in the hallway. Ooh, elder abuse. Mm, pretty serious. Tom's going to take care of that problem, though. But Tom Greer says he managed to get his 22 caliber Smith & Wesson revolver. Uh, Smith & Wesson's going, yeah, that's us. <laughs> Advertising. <laughs> There's no such thing as bad PR, I guess. Actually, this is probably good PR. He says when that unarmed couple saw his gun, they took off, out the back door, and he followed. The lady didn't run fast as a man, so I shot her the back twice. <laughs> oh, no, Tom. You don't want to say that. That's terrible. I'm not talking about him shooting her. I'm talking about the claim that she didn't run as fast as the man. That's going to get him in a lot of trouble. This is in Long Beach, California, by the way. Oh, they're going to be really upset with him. What do you mean she didn't run as fast as him? What are you saying? <laughs> She's dead and they told her off, but he got away. She... Oh, by the way, the old adage that you know, to escape from a lion, you don't have to outrun the lion. You just have to outrun your friend. That kind of holds true here. I didn't even know that was true, but evidently it is. To escape Tom Greer, you really don't have to outrun the bullet. You just have to outrun your wife. And how is he going to tell his friends when they find out what happens? Dude, I, I managed to make it out alive because I outran my wife. <laughs> he says, don't shoot me. I'm pregnant. I'm with a baby. And I shot her anyway. Ouch! Ouch! Hey, Tom! <laughs> no! <laughs> don't, don't say that! Uh, we're talking about California. Oh, man. It's, I mean, you have to laugh. What can you say? Well, actually, you don't. If, if you really want to take a serious note on this one and get all pissed off at me and, and claim that this is not a funny matter, well, go ahead. I don't give a shit. And now what's the district attorney going to do? I mean... He's 80 years old. By the time they get a conviction, it's, he's going to be oh, 82, 83 years old. Um, whatever. If I'm the attorney, I'm going to drag this thing out. Man, oh man, he's going to have so many medical ailments and so many doctor's appointments that the uh, trial is going to last forever. If I'm the district attorney, I just say, hey, look, Tom, uh, well, why don't we offer you a plea bargain down to... Uh, I don't know. Let's do the Dominic Black approach. Uh, we'll just take this uh, murder charge, but we'll just call it as a municipal ordinance violation. Uh, you'll pay a fine and we'll be done with it. So, I don't know. This is kind of a strange one. I mean, yeah, Tom, I think you're in a little bit of trouble here, but frankly, at 80 something years old, I'm not sure what they can do to you. By the time the trial gets done, he's going to be 82. Um, he's going to have all kinds of medical issues, and I'm not certain the state really wants to take care of him. So, uh, you know, I don't know. To me, it's like, let it go, let it go. Now, like my video and subscribe to my channel. And if you're pissed off at me about this one, I don't care.